Glory be to God today, people of God. Um, the Holy Spirit is truly upon me today that um, I can't even explain it. I can't really put it into words what God is doing. Um, the testimonies that are coming in from other people being blessed. Um, it, I just... I was, uh, from the time that I hit the floor this morning, um, awakening, and thank God for that, um, the Holy Spirit has just really been heavy up on me, that I just had a praise on the inside, and i just been um, posting different sayings and different things that keep coming up, even if it's in song or if it's just been the Word of God, and then I was sitting in church this morning, and to get an inbox from my mother that I prayed with on yesterday about a situation that she's going through, um, that she um, was worried about her son, that a mother uh, worried about her son, and how many knows that when a mother's worried about her children, there's really that could no, no, there's nothing that could really settle a mother. Because that's your baby. That's your something that's been connected to you for at least 40 weeks um, at, at, at the you know, medium, because you could go below 40 weeks and above 40 weeks. But to to tell this mother that your son is all right, that God has it, has him in the, you know, the crest of his bosom. And, and I told the woman, I said, I know that um, nothing that I'm saying is really making sense right now, but God said he has it. And then to be sitting in church and to receive an inbox to say, I found my son this morning and, and he's alive. You know, the devil is a liar that I've been having dreams she's been having dreams that she found her baby dead and you know glory be to God that her son is alive this morning and what the word of God um, put inside of me yesterday has has come true today so um, you know it's even strengthened my faith and my walk with God when someone has a testimony that you know what God has put into my belly to deliver to someone else that you know everything will be okay sometimes I don't even understand and I said God you really want me to tell that person that and God said yes deliver my message so um I I just been in church you can see the raccoon eyes that I've been crying all morning and it's not for me it's for someone else you know and we're, why can't in the body of Christ we be, in, be on one accord? Why can't we be for our sisters and brothers in Christ and even pray for those that's not in Christ, that has not found Christ, that has not made the Lord their Savior? So right now, I am just overjoyed. I'm overwhelmed. I don't even know what to do with myself. I just don't even know. The Holy Spirit is truly high. And um, this song just keeps coming up inside of me. And I know this will just be my praise song for today, that there's a praise on the inside that I can't keep to myself. There's a hollow stirring up in the depths of my soul. So please excuse me if I get a little giddy or even a little strange. Praise is the way I say thanks. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, God. Glory to your name, God. You are truly worthy to be praised. I am sitting in the parking lot of the church, and I couldn't move. Everyone else is, you know, going on to do whatever they're going to do. But I could not go on without giving God further praise today. I thank you, God. I glorify you. I magnify your holy name. You are truly worthy to be praised today and every other day. For God, you are faithful to your children. I thank you. I thank you for being personal with me. I thank you for being my Father God, even in the midst of my storms. I thank you for keeping me. I thank you for your grace and your mercy, God. Thank you, God. In your Son Jesus' name, I say thank you. Amen, amen, and amen.